Hi! This is a sad little angle because I have a sad little ankle. I think I sprained my ankle this morning basically in a gym class. I've been to the gym in like a month and I always find that I build up this wall after not going for a while and I put it off and I put it off and I put it off and then I don't feel great and then I finally go and remind myself how much I enjoy going and how much better I feel. And then this morning I was at my favourite gym class it's called fitness rebounder but i call it trampoline because everyone has like a small little trampoline and you're basically just like jumping and bouncing on the trampoline dancing to like beyonce and stuff and it's a good time probably the only hour of cardio i really enjoy other than the other class it's the same kind of class but without the trampoline led by the same instructor i love her so much she makes me enjoy going to the gym and that is the most important thing and basically halfway through the class this morning i think i just landed funny on the rebounder and i think i like rolled my ankle and i kind of was like Bruh. and it really hurt and i was just trying to walk on it and like move it around and stretch it out to see like how bad the pain was and it was kind of fine but she did stop the class and i was very embarrassed and then she was like i'm gonna ring the alarm and i was like please don't do that and then she got in some first aid lady who came with some ice packs i basically packed up my stuff and left asap because i was embarrassed and i walked around for a bit and it was kind of fine and then i came home and i was just doing some like jobs around the house and i sort of lent like on it i guess and then i had more pain and i've just been in bed and it is raised and i have some frozen edamame underneath it because i didn't have any peas and i took some ibuprofen i was supposed to go to this like junkyard golf thing tonight and i do kind of want to go but that would just kind of mean that i'm on my feet all night and i actually really want to save myself for tomorrow so i think we're going to change the plan and just go out for dinner because that means sitting and eating so sounds like a win. I decided this morning that I wanted to go and do a uh, car boot because I have some things that I'm just like get out of my sight just some like old stock some bits from like around the house I'm like why do I have you that's a good thing about the car boot like I can bring any old random thing like not just clothes so um I was making my boyfriend clear out some of his bits this morning and I basically got two suitcases filled with stuff and it's really just like stuff that I want to clear out end of summer end of season and if it doesn't sell the car boot I will most likely be donating it most of it I'm sure there's like a few bits somewhere like, eh, I'll keep it till next summer I kind of wanted to mix it up and do a different car boot for you guys now I have a sprained ankle it makes just so much more sense to go to my local one we're gonna get up at the crack of dawn so that's also why I kind of just want to have a low-key night tonight because I know now from last time that you want to get there at like 7 7 15 even though it says to get there at 7 30 for sellers because even at 7 30 last time all the good spots were taken so i'm gonna get there bright and early um which also means i have to get up bright and early but it is supposed to be a nice day tomorrow it's supposed to be like around 25 26 degrees it's sunny with cloud which i think is perfect for a car boot perfect conditions and i just think that this is probably the last one of the year that i'll do i also just need a little bit of extra cash you know how it is my goal is to make enough to get a gel mani pedi before my holiday next week because i'm going to greece next week <laughs> which i'm sure i'll do because what is that like 80 quid in cash and last time i made i think around 122 and i was selling everything for like one pound two pound three pound i never take like my high value stuff there because that's just not the clientele like it's a car boot so people are expecting to pay car boot prices and i don't want to be that girl there who's like selling things for like 50 60 quid plus at a car boot like that's just not the vibe my boyfriend is going to come with me so he will be my on-site muscle last time our legs got really tired and now we actually have some camping chairs from glastonbury so i'm gonna bring the chairs because i want something to sit on i feel like i'm pretty much good to go i've just got a bag of hangers in the morning i'm gonna have to take everything off my rail which is fine i do kind of wish i had a pop-up rail that was like a good six feet does that sound right yeah a good like Mm, probably would be too big for the car boot i think my ikea one is like 100 centimeters which to be honest for the car boot is fine and then i take my waterproof mat and lay things out and then i also got bougie a fortnum and mason basket which i'm gonna probably put like a category of something in okay i didn't want to show you because you know like no free feet pics or whatever but this is my saddle setup. i'm also like a little bit nervous because if you watch my last car boot video you would see that i had some beef with um a regular i'm gonna obviously avoid her i know not to like go and set up in her area this time but just like knowing that there are the people who go and do the car boot weekly and like everyone's really lovely don't get me wrong but i do feel like i'm slightly overstepping because i'm not local and like, i don't want to take a good spot of someone who goes every week and when i did have beef last time loads of people came to my rescue so there were so many lovely people there it was kind of just that one lady but i just did feel a bit scared of her mostly so i'm just gonna avoid her hopefully she doesn't remember and I feel like because I've done it before, I feel more comfortable and confident going in. Like I know what to expect and I always think that you feel more anxious about things when you don't know what there is to expect. So I'm excited. Okay, I'll show you a little bit of what I end up doing tonight and then I'll see you in the morning. 
Good morning, it's like half six and I've been up since five. I kind of had the same thing as when you have to get up for a flight, like you're aware of something so you don't really get like a full good night's sleep because you know you have to get up early. I remembered in the middle of the night as well that I have no cash and I need some cash for like petty change, for giving out change when people buy stuff. So hopefully there's somewhere sort of on the way that is open. If not, I'll just like nip out once we're kind of all set up. Here's what I'm wearing. So I've gone for the Eleanor Butler Jones crossbody because I want to have my bag like on my person at all times. So I've got like my phone and my wallet on me. I thought I'd go for the Adidas shorts loafers because they're comfy and then I have got like a white shirt oh hello belly button I have got um my little vintage white shirt that I got in the flea market in Italy on I feel a bit embarrassed about wearing a blouse don't know also it's kind of cold because it's still so early so I'm just wearing this hoodie that we found in my mum's house let's get it we got here late last time so we just literally like, walked straight in but everyone was kind of already set up so this queue goes around the corner Literally, as I started unzipping my bags, I had people coming up to me asking me what I had with me, what I was selling that day, and then people started fishing through my jewellery. Made my first sale of the day, I got £14 just for some old jewellery. So the guy on the stand next to me said that like all the resellers come first thing and they try and get everything for dirt cheap, and he says the people with real money come at like 11, so I'm going to hold out for them. I always think they've bought so much, but... It doesn't actually look like that much when you get it all out. Once I was all set up, Solly went to go have a shop. Nice for like the park. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Sorry? She just has the best stock. She's been here every time I've been here and she was who I got the pink D&G kitten heels from. So I'm gonna have a little rummage. This is so nice. But do I need more football stuff? Can I have a crispy bacon roll with brown sauce and a black coffee? Yeah. Thanks. Give you the slightly crispier one. Oh, yeah. Last time I vlogged selling at a car boot, you guys said you wanted to see more of the actual selling. So I've tried to include that in this vlog whilst also being respectful and not shoving a camera in strangers' faces. Um, I'll do that one for five. Uh, it's waist 29, 28? Uh, no, I'm 32. 32. <laughs> oh. Oh, Welcome to the store. Yeah. We got some favorite pieces. Yeah, go on. <laughs> You're like, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> I'm like looking and then I'm like, oh, she's really sweet. If you guys want her, she's yeah. really cute. Come down. Thank you. I never know what to do with my unwanted toiletries, so it's good to know that they do actually sell at a car boot. The sun is coming out. <laughs> when I was having another little mooch around, I overheard one of the regulars advising a seller that less is more, and I completely agree. I found it really overwhelming, the stalls that just had so much stuff. And then that made me feel a bit more content with the amount of stuff that I had brought. I sold a pair of socks for 20p and then I also sold my mum's old Timberlands for four pounds. She would be livid if I knew how cheap I sold them for, but they just weren't selling on my Depop. Uh, that's 10. You can try it on, yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thanks. We got a little customer. Thank you so much. That's all right. um, Have you got? Great. Okay. Cool. I'll do your change. One sec. You. We've got like an hour left. I think business has picked up a little bit. Hoping to clear the racks. I like them. Millie and Johnny are giving me their haul. Subway. <laughs> Subway visor. Ten quid. Nice. I'm real. Funny enough, the last time I had Subway, I got food poisoning. I <laughs> this is higher, one pound. Soon. Nice. Cheap. Great. This is kind of similar That's to what lush. I'm wearing Yeah, now. that's really nice. Yeah, like that. That's lovely. It's nice, yeah, it? really nice. I put them in here. These two is a Wow. Wait, Oh my God, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of joke. All packed up and going. Just going to donate this bag of stuff because it's stuff that I just need to get rid of. I have showered, I have napped, I've changed, I've done my makeup again, and let me tell you, I feel so much better. Also, I was not a fan of what I wore today. I really regretted it. I wish I'd worn something a bit more like, I don't know, casual, and I feel like any 
glimpses of myself that I caught, I was like, what do you look like? The car boot. So I'm so glad that I brought like low value stuff because I forgot how many low ballers there are. Like I personally would just not want to take my more expensive stuff to that car boot because I had two bags. One was Ralph Lauren and one was DKNY and they were like probably the most expensive things I had with me and I didn't sell them. And I said the DKNY one was 35 and then I started saying 30 and people were still being like, oh my God. It's a car boot and car boots are supposed to be cheap. So pretty much everything that I was flogging was like one pound, two pound. I'm trying to think if I sold anything above five pounds. Let me have a look. I do keep a note of like what I've sold and how much I sold it for. Just to remember. Oh, I sold these Stella McCartney shorts for £10. They were brand new with tags on and I bought them for 30 And I think they retail at like 75 maybe more. Pretty much everything else was £5 or under. And then I sold a pair of socks for 20p. I sold... One second. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-six things. And I made 116 pounds, which is pretty much so similar to the last time that I went. Also this time I didn't buy anything. So there was no like loss. There were so many sellers. I feel like there were definitely more sellers than when I was there at the beginning of summer. And all the locals and all the regulars were kind of commenting on how many sellers there were and that there weren't enough buyers, which may be true, but I'm happy with how today went. And I did donate like a big pile of stuff afterwards to trade. That trade must get so many donations on the weekend after the car boot of people were just being like, take my stuff, take the stuff that I didn't sell. I did bring back a few of my bits just that I thought were still worth hanging on to, just because I think they'll definitely end up selling on my Depop or maybe at my next pop-up it's just such a tiring morning and honestly last night i nearly bailed like the idea of it when we were out for dinner i was like oh i really do not want to get up and do that but i also had the fear a little bit of like the beef that happened last time and there was no beef today i had this man next to me his name was john and he was really really funny so he was very entertaining and then there was i think he was an italian man across from us he was selling jewelry and he was like mingling with us which was nice i like feeling part of the like community and like mingling with adults because i feel like i really don't do that enough in london i love my outfit for tonight i feel like i'm a little bit overdressed but that's fine because i just had this outfit in my head and i really wanted to wear it like i look like a little my fair lady but it's fine i've got my peachy dan diva skirt in oyster my nike rifts and then the top that i got in the flea market in florence okay i'll show you a few clips of my evening but over and out love you bye is that Devin? <laughs> it's actually quite weird. <laughs>